Hi and welcome today. Uh, my name is Daniel from Dance of Gamers and we're going to be uh, unboxing and reviewing and looking at the connection of the MITV stick. Now this is an Android stick. It comes uh, with uh, some applications pre-installed. It has the Netflix, the YouTube, the Prime Video, the Google Play, the Google Play Movies and TV. It has the Google Play Games, the Google Play Music and the IMBD. Uh, applications pre-installed. It has the Google Assistant, so the remote um, um, has a Google Assistant. That means that uh, it is voice controlled. Uh, it has uh, it uh, supports uh, Full HD uh, with a resolution of um, 1920 by 1080. That's a good resolution for a TV stick. It's, uh, it runs Android, so it's using uh, Android OS. <clears throat> that means that uh, you could install uh, Android applications and also it has uh, the Google Play Store. So um, from the sides, um, uh, it has uh, the setup is only three steps. Uh, attach the MITV stick to your HDMI port, connect to internet, start streaming. Uh, from this end, it includes uh, the, uh, the stick itself, the Bluetooth remote, or oh, this is a Bluetooth remote. That means that uh, you don't have to directly point it to the TV. Uh, anywhere you are in the room, you can uh, just press and then you can control as long as it's within the Bluetooth range. Uh, and also, the, the, it is uh, a voice-activated uh, remote. That means that uh, if you're in the bathroom and uh, your stick is connected to the TV in the sitting room, you could just press the Google button and then, uh, say, play some music from YouTube and uh, the remote will send it to the stick and automatically your, 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 the, your command will be received. And it includes a power adapter, which we might not use for this case. And it also has uh, the Google Chromecast, uh, the Chromecast in build. So that means that uh, it has the wireless view. I can uh, stream the, the whatever I'm watching. Let's say if I'm watching a YouTube video on my phone, I can just push it straight to the TV, to the MITV stick. So without wasting any time, let's dive in and check what's inside. I'll use my long fingers. Okay. Now, first, first to come out is going to be uh, uh, the remote. It's a, a simple and uh, very, very precise remote. It has the power button. It has the the Google button. Uh, the round uh, uh, part. Which has which this should be the OK or enter button. It has the left, the right, up, the direction buttons. Then this is uh, the application buttons where you click to see all the applications. The back, I mean, the go back one step and then the menu button. Now this puts you back to the menu. It has the Netflix pre installed on the remote too with a quick button and the prime video and then the volume up and down. And then behind, We have the batteries. Let's open and see. Mm. Well, it says Duma with your TV, connect, um, control your TV with your voice. Press the Google Assistant button on your remote to get started. Yeah, these are the instructions. The remote comes with its own instructions, so you can go through. I'm not going to bother with this. So this is the remote. It uses uh, the double A batteries. Uh, no, the triple A batteries, the little ones. Uh, let's see what, uh, what else is in our box. I'll slide out. And there is more. Okay, we get uh, the MA. Uh, this looks at the terms of usage and the let me look for English. English, English, English. Okay, it looks at the terms and policies of the MI company. You can look at that later. And then this uh, is the uh, the product information. It's a very huge book, which you can also go through. And then this is. Um, 
the instruction manual. It's a booklet. Wow, there's so many instructions to go through. But uh, let's look at the other products. Uh, we have the stick itself. Now it only has um, the power port, which is as a micro USB. Uh, that's the only port that's there, and then the HDMI. Now this is the one you plug into the TV and then power it up. Now the USB is to give it power. Uh, it has, as they've said, they've added uh, a power adapter, which you may choose uh, for cases, for, for the TVs that don't have the USB port, you'll need to use this. This is also to power this up. Now it has a USB extension. Now for the TVs that are maybe mounted to the wall uh, that you can't reach to fix this into the HDMI, you can use this. It's an extension, you plug it into uh, the TV and then plug the stick into this. So it's an extension for those people who might need it. Okay, and then the USB uh, that connects uh, the stick either to the adapter or to your TV. Now that's all that's in the box. Let's look at all the products that are inside. We have uh, the power adapter. We have the USB cable that connects the adapter. We have the HDMI extender extension, uh, the remote, the stick itself, and the manuals. So the next thing that we're going to look at, we're going to look at uh, how to set it up to our TV. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll show you, I'll make sure that I use a TV that's not smart so that we get all uh, that we need to know about this stick. Now, what, why do we need this stick? Now, this stick, uh, its use is to convert any kind of TV, as long as it has HDMI, it will convert that TV into an Android TV, a smart TV. So you don't have to buy the expensive TV, expensive, expensive smart TV. Uh, you can use your ordinary TV that uh, is not, does not support uh, any internet features. Uh, and then all you have to do is insert this thing, uh, go to Google Play and then install any applications that you want. It could be the uh, uh, the former applications that are on the Play Store or any custom applications that you would want. Now, this, that's the part we're going to go through and then uh, we shall go through every step. It's just stay tuned. Do the setup now to the TV. Now, I'm using this cheap uh, Braham TV. It's not a smart TV. I've done the connection of the other extension. Now it's plugged into my HDMI one and this other cable are plugged into the USB. So all we are going to do is uh, get our stick, cut this part, and then this part uh, we're going to put the, uh, the cable that is going to our HDMI. And then uh, this part that is going to, I mean, this cable has gone to our USB so that it powers up a stick. Eh? But uh, if uh, you don't have the, any USB on your TV, then you can use the adapter that they showed us. You just plug it into power so that you power, uh, power up this thing. But in case your TV has a, a USB, then you just have to use one port to power this thing up. And then the HDMI, you can choose to plug it in direct, but I use the extension because my TV is on the wall. Eh? So I just need to plug this in. Now what I'm going to do is turn on the TV with this remote. Now the TV is on. And then I have my uh, TV, uh, the stick, uh, the remote for the stick. The stick you can even hide it. You get a way of hiding it. Uh, let's switch on the TV and see. Now, okay. Uh, luckily, my TV is already it's already in the right port. Eh? But in case, uh, let me first try to switch. Let's say if uh, by default your TV was uh, in a different port, maybe it was in the HDMI 2, then you won't be able to uh, to to receive this. Eh? So since I've plugged it into HDMI 1, use your remote and then you switch to the right port uh, where the stick is uh, plugged in. Eh? So when you see no signal from, um, after you've plugged in uh, your, 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 your stick and then it says no signal, that means that you plugged it into uh, the, the TV is uh, switched to the wrong HDMI that the, the stick is not plugged in. So I'll switch to the right one, which is HDMI 1. And then immediately you switch to that uh, right port. It will boot up. It will show you the Android. The other first part uh, it showed. Now it, uh, it needs to synchronize the remote. Since it's the first time, it needs uh, to pair with the remote. Remember it's Bluetooth. So you follow the, the signs they're showing here. They're saying, press these two buttons. So I'll do that. I'll press and hold them and point to the stick and release and then press again and hold. 
so uh, it has paired and then uh, we continue with the language uh, we shall choose USA and the region you can choose any region you would want uh, unfortunately I don't see Uganda there so I'll just stay with US and then uh, quickly set up uh, with your phone yeah but this is for the Android phone uh, for now I'm going to use um, an, an iPhone so I'll first keep this then I'll connect to the Wi-Fi. I'm going to post the video because I don't want you to see my password. So internet is connected. I just put in my password. Uh, so it's trying to... Um, let's wait. Uh, it's connecting to the Wi-Fi. It, no, it said it, it has connected. So let's wait for it to sync in and get us to the next part. So the, this next part is about uh, uh, signing in with our account. So if you have a, a Google account, yeah, it's as this step that uh, you would want to sign it in uh, because you know it can't allow you to go to Google Play without setting up the account. We could skip this and just go to uh, the main screen. Uh, we shall do the setup later. Uh, the location, I'll turn it on, um, not really. These, these you do if you want. I don't need to install anything. I don't, uh, this is the air console in case uh, you want to pay for these, uh, uh, th those games, you can do it. In my case, I'm not going to do it. I'll go through these uh, initial setups. Let's see, let's see. Okay, uh, I'll agree to their terms. Okay, uh, for these parts, uh, okay, I'll just go to enable. This is about uh, the video clarity. The, there's a... Uh, uh, those enhancements that they add, I'll just ena uh, click enable and activate the service. Now, uh, this, the stick is set up. Now, this is what you get um, immediately you receive. Remember, it's an MI, MI TV stick, so uh, the MI uh, app is already installed. Netflix comes installed. Uh, the Prime, uh, let's, let's, uh, I'm going to press uh, the apps button. So these are the apps that are installed for now. But remember, we cannot, uh, we cannot go to Google Play because we did not set up our account so uh, for now what i'm going to do is uh set up my account i'm going to uh, i'm going to log in my account so i'll have to mm -hmm. okay like uh, like the way you do it for your phone all you have to do is uh put in your email put in your password and then uh that's all that you would need so i'll um you use you use the keyboard use the mouse to navigate and uh type in uh your email so I'll put in my account, which is uh, Dunsoft. Um, at Gmail. Ah, sorry. Settings, then I go back to accounts and sign in. And I go to uh, Google, then I click sign in, then I go back to the other part where I have to sign in. So same thing, I'm going to, let me quickly, let me quickly sign up, then I'm going to pause the video, sign up, then I come back. So now uh, our account has been signed in, so right now we can be able to go to our Google Play. I click the applications button, then I can go to... Google Play, and here I can download any applications that I want. Um, uh, one of the most common app TV now app, uh, since this is Android, uh, that means that we can install the DSTV app now. That way we can uh, be able to watch uh, DSTV even without um, without uh, the decoder itself using the application. So I'll go to I'll go to I'll search for uh, DSTV. So so um. Uh, let me show you something. Since this thing has a voice control, I can just go to uh, search. And instead of wasting time typing, I can just press uh, this uh, speak now button. Then I say DSTV. So this is the quick way of uh, uh, typing. Instead of typing, I can just uh, speak out what I want to type in and then it will quickly just type it in. So, uh, with our DSTV app already installed, now the formal apps uh, you can get from Google Play. 
Now, uh, for the custom apps that are not there on Google Play, like uh, the free movies, uh, applications, your, your custom apps that are not on Google Play. So, this is the procedure that we're going to use. We're going to be uh, getting the applications using the phone, then we transfer them to the stick. So, we shall go to Google Play and get a few applications that we shall need for us to do that. First, we shall need the file manager, and then we shall need the application we shall use to transfer. So, I'll go to uh, search. And then I'll put in file manager. One second. Uh, I'll put file manager. And then I will be using this one. Effects, I'll let that install. And as it installs, I'll go back. The second application we shall need is this one send files to TV we should let that one also install. So those are two applications that are installing right now. So I'll get out of the Google Play. Uh, let me see, then I'll go to my apps. I'll let these ones install. This one has finished downloading, now it's installing. Um, meanwhile, if you have uh, a Netflix account, uh, it's easy, you can either just uh, click the Netflix button or you can go to the Netflix section, they'll show you the every new series or TV, TV, TV series or movie that uh, that has come out on Netflix, they'll give you the updates. And then um, the other applications you might need, uh, YouTube is ready now that we've uh, logged in our account. You can uh, put a um, uh, Facebook watch, you can be able to watch everything on Facebook. Um, all applications that uh, you have on your phone, you can run on your on your TV. So this is YouTube, and um, right now, uh, let me see new videos. What what what? what? Ah, those are some new updates. Uh, YouTube updates, and uh, let's look at this button. This one you need to set it up the Android button. So when uh, I mean the Google button, so when I press and hold, or when I just press. Okay, it's not yet set up. You need to set up your voice, what, what, the, the, the same way you set up um, uh, the Google Assistant on your phone. Eh? Meanwhile, the other applications are installing. So this is uh, the uh, Google Assistant. So you can go through the procedure of setting up. You can... Uh, Okay, the volume is low, but uh, it's an ad talking about. Um, Pause. How many episodes are in Game of Thrones? There are 67 episodes. And what's on my agenda for today? There's nothing on your calendar. Unpause. The winter is coming. Show me pictures from my. So there's so many things you can do with your Google, uh, your your Google so Assistant. Do videos of dogs wearing people clothes. I'm not going to go through all this video, so I'm going to pause and let it go. Now with the, with the Google Assistant enabled, all I have to do is just press this button. It launches, then I be like... Okay. So, sorry, got the wrong words. So I can say... Let me a video from YouTube. So easily, irrespective of where you are, you might be uh, seated maybe in the kitchen, then all you have to do is uh, just use the remote and then uh, ask the TV or the stick to play you anything that you need and uh, it will do that for you. So it has launched YouTube and played me. Since for me, I'm a gamer, so it, uh, it strictly, it uh, straight away went to the, vi the video games. So I can just say, um, What's the weather like today? Currently in Kampala, it's 73 degrees and mostly cloudy. Today, there will be thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 73. Okay, and that, that, that's it. Uh, that's it uh, with um, with a with a Google Assistant. Uh, our applications are finished. Uh, these are the two applications. So what I can do, I can pin them here. I go to this plus sign. And then I say I will need the DSTV up there, then I'll need uh, maybe my files up there, and then the file manager there. So um, I'll go to uh, this application. 
for you for you for you to uh, be able to send the files you need to download the same application to your android phone so i'm going to use my little android phone here i've already downloaded the application uh it's here files so i'll launch it i'll skip the initial start uh, setup hold on So uh, it, it will be set like this. Eh? So it has send and rest. I'll skip this and then go to done. Permissions allow and then done. So it also has send and receive. Eh? So what we're going to do, we're going to set oh. we're going to set our TV to receive. So it's going to be expecting. And then here we're going to click send. So, um, on send, we browse and look for the applications we want to install. So, let me see. I'm going to try this and this, these two applications. So, I click. Okay. Then it's going to, uh, to see the MITV stick automatically. So, I just click send. So, if you see very well, um, here it's sending. You're seeing the percentage. And here it's also receiving. So I'm going to wait for it to receive the two files that uh, we're going to install. And then we're going to use our file manager. So, um, okay, let me, let me first go to the file manager and see what it has sent. Uh, I'll scroll to file manager. So any, any application you want to install that uh, is not uh, a form application on uh, Google Play, you just go to that so it has um this i can skip that i don't need the pro so i go to downloads and then i'll see the two applications that i've sent i'll install this one yeah allow from unknown sources i've got settings and allow allow this and also this and then I'll install again. I'll just go down and click on install and let my application install. This is something that you do on your Android phone. So let me install both applications. This one is done. So I'll go to the next one. I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's installed. So the second application has also finished installing. So uh, I'll close this. So when I go back to uh, my applications, uh, the applications that have installed should be here. There is this, and uh, where is the other one? Did it install? Was it even an application? But this one has come. Uh, let me first go back to File Manager and find out if it installed staging. Then yes, installing. Okay, so I'll, let me just open it and see. Okay, this, this is a fake application, uh, but uh, that one is told, so I will actually add it to my list here. So um, any application, any secondary application you have, you just use this to send and then use to, this to install. So this is the application I've installed. It's also, um, it's a movie application. It has uh, many movies and it's free, you don't have to you don't have to uh, purchase uh, or create an account. Uh, so it has, uh, it has uh, the latest movies. It has uh, TV, TV shows also. Um, you could choose um, to select, uh, let me see if I went back to movies, I can go up here and then select, um, select uh, the upcoming uh all the ones um like you you can choose through uh it has a very huge uh, list of genres so you can uh just select uh, what you would want yeah so uh this is an application that i've uh, installed uh, uh not through google play in what uh this device can do and um uh how to install the applications uh to the tv and how you can uh, best use it. 
So um, we've not gone through the DSTV app, but it's so simple. Um, once uh, you have the, an account, you just um, you just log it in. You get the login, and then you uh, you you just launch it. It's it's so simple. It's a simple procedure, but uh, maybe we shall create a video of how to also uh, use it. Uh, with all that said, um, thank you for watching. Subscribe and like. Bye.